So sometimes on the spiritual journey, the healing journey, the awakening journey, um, it can literally feel like you're being turned inside out. It can be so intense sometimes. I just released a podcast episode on the transition portal. Really good one to listen to if this is a, a topic that really resonates for you and how to really navigate those transitions and those shifts with more ease, with more loving presence, with more um, awareness and consciousness. It really supports the process to be a lot smoother. Um, but I just want to really bring awareness to this and really speak to this because sometimes it can feel like I must be doing something wrong because I feel bad. I feel like crap. I feel low vibe. Like there's so much shaming around this kind of low vibe and we've got to be high vibe all the time. We've got to be love and light all the time. And it's just not actually um, what the human experience is. We're here to experience it all. And in, in my deepest um, truth and belief is we are here to experience it all. We're here to move through the waves and we go through dark times we go through times where things feel really sticky and icky and hard Um, but in my experience actually it's those deep dark spaces where I receive the most transformation the most healing the most insight what I share with you guys here is is often what's actually come through in my dark days in my Um, when I've like really leaned into what feels like the underworld like we're going into some really dark spaces and that can feel really yucky it can feel really like oh like this doesn't feel nice and then we're like did I do something wrong what should I do how do I shift this how do I release this what have I got to do and we're getting stuck in that do mode like I've got to do something to move this to release this because I shouldn't be here or it's wrong to be here or if I'm in this low vibe experience then um, bad things will happen or I'll manifest bad things and that's not the case. There is so much distortion around manifestation and um, low vibe, high vibe and there's really just this intense separation, intense separation around I've got to be feeling good and happy and high vibe all the time rather than actually being true to the moment and what's here what is here for you allowing yourself to feel it to be with it and it's actually in leaning into what is here that allows it to move which is um, I guess what feels a little counterintuitive a lot of my work I I talk about embracing embracing it all we're integrating coming back to wholeness embracing we're not here to get rid of anything but you'll notice that when you embrace when you lean in it dissolves it moves, it dissipates. Nothing is is a constant. We are constantly moving. <laughs> Nothing is constant, but we're constantly moving. Um, nothing is, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Nothing is forever. Like it's, it's like everything is moving and changing and shifting. Um, so say, for example, there is anger or there is grief and we're afraid if I go into this I might not come out or I'll go into a depression or I'll be in this dark hole and I'll never come out of it Um, whereas actually what I find is um, because a lot of the time when I say embrace it it's like if I embrace it then it will be here to stay but nothing is really here to stay it's constantly moving and shifting and changing but when we lean in when we embrace when we welcome we allow that's actually when the alchemization happens, the transformation. It's like we alchemize that energy and it transforms. I had a, a call with a client and um, as I was inviting her to come into a bit of a drop in, like really landing in the moment and in her body, um, she shared with me that she couldn't relax. I was like, no one said to relax. Don't even, um, like, what, like what is here? And there was, she was saying that there was a lot of tension. I was like, be with the tension actually intentionally tense everything up and actually let yourself be tense as soon as she did it boom (laughs) it dissolved and she was absolutely amazed and um, it was just incredible to witness when we actually lean into our experience rather than fighting it resisting trying to get rid of it it's just another way when we're trying to get rid of something it's another way of shaming that part or shaming that experience or wronging that experience like there's something wrong with this I don't even like the um, the saying of I'm I'm here to release what no longer serves me um, 
just because sometimes it's coming from a place, not always, but sometimes it's coming from a place of like shaming that part, like you're not serving me, you don't belong here, see you later. And this actually triggers a deep wound of I don't belong here, there's something wrong with me. Um, and so just really feeling into if that is something that you say or that you have said, just feeling into where you are coming from with that that saying because if there's something here it is serving in some way otherwise it wouldn't be here so getting really curious of how is this serving me or how has it served me because sometimes things have served in the past now we realize they're no longer serving and we can update the system we can be like hey this is actually causing more harm than the benefit like there might be a little benefit still there but it's actually causing more harm so let's alchemize this let's shift this in a way where that part still gets the benefit but in a a new way that also empowers and benefits all of you and the wholeness of you Uh, it's just a different way a different energy that we're coming from um but yeah just coming back to the idea that when you feel bad you have done something bad and this is not the case is actually there's something coming to the surface there's something that uh, is really needing to be met and to be felt and so I really invite you to come from a place of curiosity of what is this revealing to me what is it that this part needs from me how can I support that part rather than like I'm on the journey and I must be doing something wrong because I feel like absolute shit um this potentially is signaling that you are going into some pretty deep layers and something that um, one of my mentors uh, said to me recently which I just love the way that she worded it was that we are empathing our experience we are empathing these parts of self so it feels like it's compl- like we're being completely consumed by say an inner child or a trigger or an intense emotion and we're fully going into it we're like almost like fully embodying that experience and losing ourselves our present self in that experience and so we feel like I am the sadness I am the anger I am this trigger I am and we're identifying with the experience rather than acknowledging that actually this is an experience that I am having this is something that is being revealed to me. Let me kind of come into that witness consciousness and witness it, see it, meet it, feel it, welcome it, but I don't get lost in it. And it's okay if you do get lost in that. We all do sometimes and, and that's part of the process. But the more we can practice coming into observer, coming into witness, meeting and allowing rather than wronging or shaming the experience, that's going to really support you. Um, as you navigate the healing, the spiritual, the awakening journey. But just know that if sometimes you feel like you are completely inside out, you are completely falling apart, nothing's working out, this is part of your process. Can you come back to curiosity, to observer, to really see what is this revealing to you?